those are moments where it's like, oh my God, what have we done? But, you know, it's, it's like, we're in, we're committed and we're committed to, uh, you know, really doing the best I, the, the we all can to present ourselves and our family uh, in the true light that, that we have. So um, th there are roller coaster moments, but yet nobody's going to beat us like that. That's a good attitude to have. Who was more upset? Was it you or Angie? You know, right? Because like you didn't sign a contract. Like, you know, did she take on the guilt of like, you know, I, I signed the contract. I'm the one that was quote unquote hired. I kind of got you into this or what was, I mean, am I making that backstory up? Cause, cause I could see that happening. No, that's, that's a great question. And I think you hit the nail on the head. She, she's like, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that, you know, this is happening. And, you know, there was, I think guilt on her end for, for, I, I think her feeling responsible for putting us through this, but, you know, look at the end of the day, all of this stuff builds resilience and character and, and re it really has brought us closer together as a family unit. The communication has has really spiked and it's it's been great. So there's a positive. And I mean, are is any part of you guys like happy that this is out there? Not that it's true, but it's almost like, well, what could be worse in a way than being accused of adultery when it's not true, right? Like bring it on now, right? Like what else could, you know, next season, the season after five seasons from now, what's really worse than this? Like in a way you could almost look at it like this is a positive thing because now it's like kind of broken you into what's to come and what could really be worse than being accused, right? Well, you know, I, I think that's an interesting question. I haven't really thought about it, but, um, but you know, I wouldn't say that, that I'm happy that this happened. Uh, I mean, I think we've grown as a result of it. But see, you know, just kind of going back to my early comments, um, people can continue to lie and that's the unfortunate thing, right? And, and you know, and I'm just going to speak generally. Um, you know, people can say whatever. And then when you're in a more public platform, the hard part is anything can get legs, right? So... So I think the answer to your question is no, I'm not necessarily happy that this came out, but I do know that there's probably going to be other stuff as we get down the road here. And that's okay. We're just, you know, it's just, a, again, it's just a matter of um, staying together as a tight unit and, and navigating this stuff, you know, as it comes. So who do you, I know you're speaking generally, but who do you specifically who are you, I guess, the most angry at between, you know, like Meredith says, you know, that she's heard these rumors, but she says she didn't bring them out. Whitney says she heard these dark rumors, but she, and she tells Monica. So she kind of takes it from Meredith to Monica. And then Monica actually utters it like out of Meredith, Whitney and Monica. Who do you kind of who are you the angriest at or kind of blame for this having legs? Well, you know, I. I'll just, I, I got to say that Winnie is an amazing person. She did the right thing. Um, I, we're, we're not upset with her whatsoever. I mean, she, she really came from a place of, of wanting to help and just make us aware. Um, now the other two, the other two, I, you know, it's, it's really difficult to um, really say, uh, I, I mean, let's see, how, how should I put this? I, I think they're both responsible in their own way. And, um, you know, Meredith, as you've seen from seasons past, she's always the one that'll plant the seed. And then she's always got somebody that'll run away with it. And that's similar to what happened here. And, you know, I say shame on both of them. So... Right. And do you think that, I guess, and then this kind of answers my questions, you don't think Meredith's defense of, well, I never said the rumor is clearly a valid defense in this situation? I don't think it's a valid defense just because it's sort of a pattern for her to to do such things. Like she'll always elude. And then, like I said, there's always somebody that's willing to run with that information. Um, so so no, I, I don't I don't see anything valid about that. 
what about, you know, Meredith said in this, I think most or second most recent episode prior, you know, my son, you know, and I'm not coming from Meredith or Brooks, but she says, you know, my son is gay, you know, I'm on the board of GLAD, you know, I would never out someone's sexuality. Like that's kind of another, is that another like roundabout, not good defense? I mean, that's kind of, she's using that as a defense to say, why am I being blamed for this? I would never out someone's sexuality. Not that there is a sexuality to even out. Well, you know, here's the thing that I've got to say about that. I think I, f f my opinion is, is that there were some strategic conversations behind the scenes. And, and I believe that after that episode aired, there was a whole bunch of backpedaling happening. And, you know, she's a smart woman. And I think she took the opportunity to to leverage her son and things like that, knowing that this didn't land quite the way they wanted it to. So, again, not a valid defense, in my opinion. Um, you know, you know. My thought is, is, you know, if, if I were a cheater and if that were a thing um say that don't make it about about sexuality and you know and i think i think they tried to do that to to you know push the knife in a little bit deeper and it didn't land the way they wanted it to so right and like after it came out you're saying that what meredith got backlash on social media and that's when she kind of tried to leverage her son right. and say that's How my could opinion I you're entitled to your opinion. Yeah. I, I, yeah. A lot of other people in this situation seem to have an opinion. So you are certainly entitled to, to, an, yeah. entitled to one. I think she tried to leverage that as a as sort of a way out and sort of a pivot for her. Do you think there's any part of Monica that is also a victim of Meredith in the sense that you know, Monica doesn't really know how to play this housewife game either. I'm not saying she's innocent and feel free to disagree. I'm just asking, you know, and that you said like there's this pattern with Meredith where it's like drop the seed and you know what you're doing. Like was Monica kind of played or is Monica not a victim at all? Um, You know, I, I think we're all grown ups and I think it's really hard to label somebody a, a victim of anybody else's on the shows. I On the show, I... I I think if, if you're going to take something and run with it and, you know, I mean, here's the thing, like maybe Meredith wasn't, maybe she didn't plant that seed. Maybe Monica made it up and then there was some conversations back and forth and, you know, we're still really unclear where it exactly came from. Right. Um, but, but no, I, I don't, I don't think anybody should, uh, get out as easy 